In this quick video, we are going to look at how to highlight values by row in Excel. And this is in response to a question on one of my recent training courses, where somebody wanted to highlight the top three values for each row of a given data set. Now, you might know that conditional formatting actually provides a top N format. But if I was to select all of these values of my data and use the top bottom rules, top items, and switch this to a top three, which is a really cool feature of conditional formatting, I'll just leave it with a standard red at the moment. When I click OK, we see that this is the top three for all of these values. But I want the top three by row, and that is not a preset feature of conditional formatting. So we're going to have to think a little bit more. Let me clear that rule from the sheet. Now, you might know that Excel has a function named large, and this will return the kth largest value in a given range. So if I can use that to find the third largest value, we can then test the numbers larger than that value to know which ones to format. So in column F right now, if I start the large function, so we can see it on screen before we use it, and I'm going to give it just the values of this range, this single row, because I know that if I give it all of the rows, just like that preset conditional formatting rule, it will tell me the third largest value from the entire set. Now I'm going to put number three for the kth value. And if I run this, it will tell me the third largest value in that row. And we know that we could then drag that down to get that same behavior for each row. So the cool thing here is that our goal is to use conditional formatting. And when we write a formula like this, in its native form, the large function cannot perform this by row functionality. I have to create a formula like this and drag it down. Or use a formula like this, which uses the by row function to force that large function to perform its calculation per row. Now, fortunately, we don't need to take that route here. We just need to get our logical expression and our dollar signs in the right place. So coming back to this formula, I'm going to test if the value in B4, which is the first value in this range, is greater than or equal to that third largest value. So yes, if there was a tie, that would be included too. And with the large function, I'm going to put some dollar signs before the columns. So this really is the trick and what the student in my course was struggling with when they were thinking, how can I get this to do it per row? And this is our solution. As I say, writing a formula would be a different question, and we have our by row function. But in conditional formatting, it's actually a little bit easier because I'm going to select the entire range of values and I need to explain to conditional formatting to test every single cell. So that's represented by B4 in this instance against its own individual row, represented by the lack of dollar signs in our range, but do not move off that column. I wanna lock down those columns B and M. So if I copy that formula and escape, I can then select my range, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine the cells to format, paste in my formula with control V, and then I can apply the necessary format. So if I go for this green color, and as I okay my way out of these windows, we have successfully highlighted the top three values for each row of that data range. Pretty cool, and we didn't need to go for any Lambda functions to do it. If you enjoyed that Excel tip, please hit the like button and why not subscribe to be kept informed about the latest videos at this channel.